Cell Boy Army. What is going on? It's your boy Zolonius, my spicy friend. Who, for some reason, seems to be taking a bit of a back seat. Ainsley, get close to him, man. Ainsley Harriet is here with us. This is a video that a lot of people, Ainsley, being a bit of a diva, getting stuck. Okay, Ainsley's ready. At the end of the day, this is probably the most requested video and talked about thing on my stream in the last week, icon swaps. Everyone keeps saying which two icons you think I should get or is the one icon in particular think I should get Zell. And I kept saying, I've not really looked at it properly because if I'm being honest, I'm probably not going to go for what these icons. I might... I might end up doing something like getting um, one of the really cheap ones, but for a pro, my team's already very good. Not None of these icons really will probably improve my team, but then at the same time, I'm also trying to make sure that I play rivals, I practice, I compete. But I do think this foot swap, the foot icon swaps, is really good to be honest, because I think it's helping a lot of people to get icons that might not be able to afford them otherwise there is some pretty good options in here so i'm going to go through all of the players um i'm going to one by one look at all the different icon swaps that are available i'll tell you what i think and then we'll look at a few combos if you want to get more than one so we're going to look through it all and see how it goes okay first one peter smichael i think it's his baby card an 86 rated keeper about all I can say for this one is he's only six which doesn't take a lot he will be one of the better keepers in the game six four solid all-round stats but it's a keeper it's not that big a deal it will be nice to maybe link defenders in a bit so if there's a card that's around six well 17 or 18 then I'd probably go for him there as a decent option but he's not that good JJ Kocher pretty useless on the game for an icon he'd be an okay card but he's obviously cheap at 8 icon swaps but I'd always be going Pep Guardiola instead of him if you've got Pep's card he's got good work rates decent height he's just a slightly worse Kante on paper when you look at him not quite as quick not quite as good at dribbling not quite as good physically but Spain's a good country to get a double link. There's some good Spanish players in the game. Jordi Alba, Sergio Ramos in particular. Um, he's a very solid card. Eight icon swaps for a card that will, at this point, for a good few months, will do a very solid job at CDM or centre mid. I think it's good value. So Guardiola's one of the better ones. Giggs, I just wouldn't go near. He's not even that quick. His shooting's pretty rubbish. His physical's rubbish two star weak or three star skills I can only see anyone going for gigs if they're a United fan Nesta has got a solid card the issue is the agility and the pace I do think if you play drop back and defend in deep this Nesta will be a very solid card at this point he obviously has weaknesses but nine icon swaps for a defender with that good stats really good strength not that good on the ball because of his agility and balance but I don't think that Nest is that bad value if you really want to defend a few teams. Now Carlos I don't think he's much better than Jordi Alba and he is better than Jordi Alba but there's not a lot in it. His shooting stats are great but do not really matter too much at left back but someone in my chat was saying to me that he's a double link to Neymar which is a very good point because if you, if you want to get Neymar in your team the only real way to strongly link him in is Mbappe or an icon like this so I think getting Roberto Carlos in at 11 swaps isn't too bad because it would allow you to get another player in um, Crespo and Cliver are both 12 which is interesting because you could potentially get both of these Crespo's got okay work rates tall, 4 star, 4 star his dribbling's not unreal but it's good his shooting again it's not unreal but it's good for the most part he's just a solid all round striker who's not amazing at anything but he's good at everything you need at striker bar maybe his passing's a bit awful but I think to be honest it's just a really solid well rounded card um, if you want to get two cheap icons in this him and Cliver would be pretty good that's your 24 done um, Cliver 
Uh, this card, I don't know, it's hard. Like he's tall, but that doesn't really matter this year with the jumping. He will win knockdowns for you. His dribbling won't be that great, but it's all right. These are the elite strikers if you get these two. But to get two for free, it helps with chemistry linking. And they will be very solid at this point of the game. Closer, just not very good on FIFA. Card's better than I thought, actually, but his main ability is in the air. And unless they change the game, aerials are pretty much irrelevant. It's Ballot card for 14. It's a good card, it's just a bit slow. He's got If he had 80 pace, this would be a really, really good card. Because he has pretty much most of what you'd want. I think if you really want a midfielder, you'd think Ballot might not be a bad option. Uh, Perlo, I mean Perlo's a player a lot of people like. He's got some very well rounded stats. Again, just the physical which is so important on FIFA. Um, if you want a playmaker, Perlo. If you want a destroyer, then Balak. Now Roy Key, this is his prime version I believe. Good work rates for a CDM. Very good physical stats. Very solid defending. His passing is really high, actually, that vision and short pass. I mean, this Keane will be a, quite an underrated card. He's just not quite quick enough to be an elite player. His shooting's not the worst. Like, if he gets a decent chance, it's a good chance he puts it away. His passing's up there with some of the elite players in the game um, when it comes to passing. For a CDM, he's that good physically. His dribbling's not too bad. He's obviously got elite defending stats. Don't really get his defensive awareness, why it's so low when his interceptions are that high. Um, and obviously, X Man U player, lots of people like him. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good card. Rivaldo, don't be on near him. Two star weak foot for an attacker. That's him done. Is Ian Wright's pretty good? How many swaps is he? 16. So Ian Wright would allow you to go get Pep Guardiola as well. I think getting Ian Wright and Pep Guardiola would be a really good um, duo. Four star week for decent work rates. Good on the ball. Well, actually, no, the dribble is a bit worse than I thought. He'll be okay on the ball, but he's pretty quick. Very good shooting. His strength's not bad, actually. He's stronger than I would have expected. But like a lot of the non elite strikers, his passing is not that good. He's not real pace he's not the best on the ball um, but it's a very well rounded card for a striker it's just a better version of Crespo to be honest Rio is arguably the best player in these icon swaps I know people like Tex used Rio last year a lot for most of the year he's got pretty much everything you want at defending he's good on the ball for, compared to most centre backs he's absolutely rapid he's defending solid he's pretty strong um, he'll be very popular again Rio and Pep Guardiola is an option this Rui Costa card's not bad it's his prime um, I used this card a lot and I think it was FIFA 18 he's got good strength stamina good work rates for a centre mid decent high pretty quick in the midfield you can shoot very good pass and very good on the ball this isn't a card that I think that many people would take, but I think it is a really well-rounded option. The only problem with this is that if you go for him, you can't get Pep Guardiola as well. If he was 16, and you could get him and Pep in your midfield, that would be a really solid two to have in midfield at this point of the game. But I think Rio or Wright are slightly better value because you can get Pep as well. Zanetti, this is one of the best cards I think you can get. He's decent pace for right backs, got good weak foot. Um, his passing's insane. Pretty good on the ball compared to most fullbacks. He's got unreal defending. His biggest weakness is his jumping. But heading so bad on this game that you don't really even need to worry about it. So, so that is a very good option. He's, he's his prime version, you get a 92. He'll be one of the best right backs in the game until maybe team of the season. Whoever gets team of the year will be better. But that would be very hard to get. So until team of the season, which is like April time probably, he's going to be up there as one of the better right backs in the game. Uh, he is a very good option. I think a lot of people will probably go for him. Sanchez. If he was four star, four star, it's a brilliant card. But the three star, three star, with absolutely awful composure, just 
let him down. I don't get how how can you have 91 finishing but 58 composure? Moves to Sissoko has mid 70s composure. What on earth have they fought? Happened, Sanchez. He's one of Real Madrid's all time top scorers, but apparently had no composure. I just don't really get where they've got that. The base icon pack, I wouldn't go near this. There's so many bad baby icons in the game and not enough good ones that it's worth the risk in my opinion. I'd, if it was me, I'd rather just go for a guaranteed good one. Another thing about Zanetti, someone just in my chat has said about, is Zanetti's got the strong link to Messi at right mid, so that's really big. If you don't watch my streams, by the way, there's a link in the description below. I stream every day, put out lots of content on Twitch for you. So it'd be nice to welcome you to my Twitch community. Uh, Booch Grader. It's a lot better than an 87 when you look at really. He's very good on the ball. His strength's not that bad for someone with that good dribbling and height. He's quick, finished, he's got five star weak foot. The only problem if you get Booch Grader is you can't get anyone else. Um, but he is a very good card. Steven Gerrard, again, this is this is just a way better version of that ballot. For a centre mid at this point in the game, Gerrard is a really good option. Obviously, it'll be very popular amongst Liverpool fans. His physicals are pretty good. His worst start, he's only got one start. Oh no, he has a few under 75. He has four stats under 75, not under 70, plenty above 80. He just doesn't have that many unreal stats, but like his passing's fantastic, his shooting's very good for that position, he's got good ball control. I think Gerard is a really good card on this game. Um, with the way the game works this year, I think he'll be very good. He's not like the, up there with the Hullets on the game, but um, yeah, this Gerard, if you Liverpool fan or just like Steven Gerrard, will be very good. Hadji, I don't know. I've used this card, I think. Actually, no, I won't have used this card in draft. It was his baby that's in draft. It's got good weak foot skill moves, good work rates for a cam. On paper, he should be really good, but I just think he's a little bit slow compared to the elite cams on the game. I think Booch Grado is a better option than him. Uh, Michael Owen doesn't have the four star skill moves, which is a bit of a letdown. If he had five star weak foot, he's probably a better card than Booch Grado, but I think because of Booch Grado's weak foot, I think Booch Grado is the one you'd want to go for if you're picking between these two. Drogba. If you had 90 pace, then I'd be. I think if it was 90 pace, I'd probably say everyone should be trying to go for Drogba. It's a very good card still. Physicals are very good. Um, his dribbling's a little bit left to be desired, but his shooting's fantastic. He's not slow. For somebody with that good physical stats, he's not even that slow. I think he'll be very popular. Again, middle Drogba at this point in the game for free is pretty good. Um, you will have to wait a few months, so that's something to remember for the la last icons. They're not going to get the next 12. We only have 12 available at the moment. You're not going to get the next 12 until I think it's like the end of November, maybe, or when season two comes out. Um, so if I can look through the players, I think Drogba is one of the better ones, but you just stuck with him. Gerard's very good. Bucciagrano, fantastic. Zanetti's brilliant. Zanetti's the best player in this for his position, but obviously a right back's not necessarily as important as someone like Bucciagrano. Rui Costa is good, Ferdinand's great, Wright solid, Roy Keane, Perlo, Balak are all very good options if you like them. These two are too bad if you want to get two of them. Carlos is solid, I think Nesto will go underrated. Guardiola's fantastic and then Smichael's not the worst if you want to get someone around 17. But generally, if you wanted to get... Oops, wanting to get one of these that's around 14 to 16 so it goes Rio Rio to Balak I think Pep Guardiola is the best out of the cheap options he'll pair very well um, Crespo and Cliver or Carlos and Cliver are good options I think Crespo might be better than that Cliver hard how to judge it really but um, if it was for me and I was picking someone I'd probably be picking between Rio Zanetti 
and Gerard. Booch, Grain and Drogba are fantastic strikers to play at this point. Yeah, a lot of it depends on what your team needs. Look at the weakness in your team's strengths. But um, yeah, we've looked at all the different icons. Hopefully, this has been helpful. I think as the uh, game moves on, we get more icon swaps in the future. We should get even better ones next season. But I think this is something good that EA have done. I think the fact that these could all be done for free without any SBCs and stuff is really good. But yeah, boys, let me know in the comments who you're going for. Please like the video. It means a lot. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. And yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.